Good morning and welcome to Sunday School with the Agape Fellowship Missionary Baptist Church. I'm Reverend Troy Roland, and today we are going to be talking about make a joyful noise. Make a joyful noise. But before we begin, let's start off with the word of prayer. Our most precious, loving, and heavenly Father, we invite you into our minds and into our hearts and into our souls this morning, Father. No matter where we are, Father, listening or watching this lesson. We're asking you, Lord, for your wisdom, and may you impart your Holy Spirit upon us, Father, so that we may be able to gain an understanding of your word, Father, and share it with others. It's in Jesus' name, Lord, that we pray, Father, and we thank thee. Amen, amen, and amen. And as always, if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down at the bottom so that way you don't miss any of them. Let's start by reading the In Focus. And the In Focus says, of course, after I put on my eyes, uh, <laughs> as Noah strode forward from the stadium tunnel onto the football field, he resisted the urge to look for his parents in the stands. He needed to put his full focus on the choreography and his positioning in the band formations. The crowd was too big for him to be able to spot mom and dad anyway. He knew exactly where they would be regardless. In Tier 2, Section 34, their favorite spot. They would be singing and cheering along with the marching band and the halftime show. Proud alums of the school, mom and dad never missed a game and were more than thrilled that Noah chose to go to the same college where they had met and married. Noah's childhood lessons turned in his musical interest into a passion. His college studies broadened his understanding of how music was constructed, but he already knew instinctively how music worked how it can change one's mood and boyish spirit. And there was hardly a greater joy than being on the field with over 200 band members, all polished and precise. The visual elements that this week's show dove dovetailed perfectly with the songs. The drum major blew a whistle and Noah lifted his trumpet. Then the snare drummers tapped out the roll off of their first number. Noah felt a happy smile welling up inside him as players strutted across the field and the crowd, 40,000 strong, roared with excitement. <laughs> this week's question says, why is music integral to so many public events and celebrations? Hmm. Why is music integral to so many public events and celebrations? I love this. And this week is a short one. See, I, I know I always say I'm going to keep it short, but this week is going to be short. <laughs> I'm reading from the New Living Translation, and we are in Psalm 100. Psalm 100. It's a psalm of thanksgiving. And we're going to read verses 1 through 5. Told you it was going to be short. <laughs> the New Living Translation, Psalm 100, verse 1. Shout with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Verse 2, worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing with joy. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to read verse 3. I'm going to read all of them. And then we'll come back and talk about them. Verse 3, acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Verse 4, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. Hmm. I always want to say praise his holy name. But uh, verse 5, For the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever, and his faithfulness continues to each generation. You know, I, I read all those intentionally all together because there's a story there. And, and sometimes people see it and sometimes they don't. But I'm going to tell you the story that's there. Here we're, we're hearing in verse 1, shout to, with joy to the Lord all the earth. This is an instruction. This is something that we should be doing. This is worship. So it's, 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 it's shout. It's, it doesn't say sing. It says shout. So making a noise is just shouting to the Lord all the earth. We're all being commanded just to shout. Give God thanks. Tell him, say hallelujah. Just, just call on his name. Or just, just shout. And let him know that, that you're thinking of him. Verse 2. Worship the Lord with gladness. 
is. Come before him singing with all joy. Yeah. Singing, the all was mine. But singing with joy. Uh, this verse, is, it, it makes me happy when I think about it. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing with joy. And, and, and shouting and singing. It, it sounds like a concert, doesn't it? How many times have you been to a concert and you're, you're shouting because the band is playing or your favorite singer is singing and, and you're in the crowd and you're just shouting because everybody around you is shouting too and you're, you're giving praise and, 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 and you're, you're, you're just letting this person know that you're, you're singing. You know, I, I remember being young. I've never been to a Michael Jackson concert, but I remember being young and seeing Michael Jackson on TV and, and how the people would act in the concert. They would be shouting and, and hollering and making a bunch of noise when he took the stage before the man could even open up his mouth and say anything. They would be just a shouting. And his concert is not the only one. There have been many that I've seen, just, and not just pop music, there's country, there's, there's jazz, there's all of them. And I've seen a bunch of them, I've been to a few. And they shout and they holler and this person takes the stage. But this is saying that we should be shouting and hollering the same way when Jesus takes the stage in our lives. Hmm. You knew I was going to sneak that in, didn't you? If we can shout and holler like that at a concert for some human being that has no real true connection with us other than through their music, then why are we not shouting and hollering like that for Jesus? Hmm. Verse 3 says that we're to acknowledge that the Lord is God. He made us and we are his. We are his people, the sheep of his pasture. He made us. He made us. And you know... I, I've been to churches when the pastor comes out, everybody's hollering and screaming when the pastor comes out or the, or the bishop or, or the first lady or, 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 or the, 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 yeah, the reverend. They're all shouting and hollering. And then when the leader says, now give God some praise, and they all sit there like, and it makes me wonder what just happened. Are they here to worship God or are they here to worship this church leader? <laughs> Woo! Lord, mm, yeah, Lord be forgiving to me should I ever walk out and people are hollering and screaming like that and then, then don't give God more than what they gave me. That would, that would make me angry. I would not be happy to hear that. I don't care. <laughs> Talk about me if you want to. I honestly just don't care. I would hate to have people out there reverencing and, and worshiping me like a man. Because that's all I am. I'm just a man. And then when you tell them to worship God and they just act like they ain't got the time. Hmm. Better come back in, read verse 3, and acknowledge that the Lord is God. Not the pastor, not the bishop, not the worship leader. Mm -mm. The Lord is God. Get your priorities straight. <laughs> he created us, and we belong to him. Four, enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. <laughs> enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. <laughs> Verse 5, for the Lord is good. His unfailing love continues forever and his faithfulness continues to each generation. Now, just for instance, just, 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 just go along with it. Humor me for a moment. And this is where you get your story from. You go in a church and, and you feel the presence of God in the building. You, you feel the presence of God when you're walking amongst the trees 
You feel the presence of God when you when you're scuba diving in the water. You feel the presence of God when you reach that that mountain top. You feel the presence of God in the in a crowd of strangers, and it just should be so powerful and, and so wonderful that you should be willing to sacrifice a moment and just say hallelujah. Mm. Sometimes you just need to, to moan and say, mm, 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 mm. I, I, I love when Reverend Brown preaches because he, he, he gets, he gets, he gets so full that you, he just, mm, 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 mm. I've seen the brother with, with, with tears in his eyes and he's, he's just feeling it power and that, that pressure of God. Imagine that. And then, then, then giving God all your worship, just singing at the top of your lungs when it's time to, time to sing. And you, you, you know, I, I, I love when I see my wife singing and she's singing gospel songs or she's singing worship music. And she's got her head lifted to the sky and she's singing to God. She doesn't care who else is in the room. She's not there to make a statement about, about the fact that she can sing because she can sing. But she's there to worship God. And that's all that she's about at that moment. That's it. So you you worship God and when you when you when you when you you, you enter into his gates and, and you give thanks to for all that he's done for you, you, you go into his courts or, or you go into the sanctuary, you got nothing but praise in you. People might look at you like you're crazy, but God will look at you like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. <laughs> what is that old song? I'm just a, a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save their soul. God has saved your soul. So you ought to be telling everybody you can. You ought to be just just singing his 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 name and praise. Especially if you've ever been to a concert and you've been hooping and hollering like that for a human, for a man. If you haven't done that for God, I tell you, you better catch up. You better catch up. Because God's unfailing love will last forever. But you owe him just as much, not correction, you owe him more than you owe that person that you went to that concert to see, to give him praise. Mm -mm -mm. God's faithfulness continues to each generation. So thank God. Give him praise. Not, not just tomorrow or or the next day, give him praise today. Give him praise tomorrow. Give him praise for the rest of your life. Make a joyful noise unto him. Let him hear how much he means to you. Just like you should tell your loved ones that you love them, you should tell God that you love him every moment that you can spare and just make that joyful noise. Let us pray. O oh, most precious, loving, and heavenly Father, we thank you for inviting us into your lesson and into your hearts this morning, Lord. We thank you, Father, for, for, for coming into our hearts, Father, and taking up the space that belongs to you. We worship you this morning, Father, not just in words, Lord, but we worship you in our hearts and our souls, Father. We, we worship you with our words, Father. We worship you with our, the noises that we make, Lord. We worship you. And we thank you for reminding us, Father, of where our worship belongs. We thank you for just being there with us, for being a part of our lives. And now, Father, we ask that you might bless, Father, the lesson that goes on today, Father, in today's sermon. That you might bless the service today, Father. That you might bless the minister that delivers it. I guess that's going to be me today, Father. So bless me on this day, Lord. And bless, Father, all those who hear this lesson, Father, and every other lesson, Father, that comes out of your word. It's in Jesus' name, Lord, we praise and we thank thee, Father. Amen, 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 and amen. <clears throat> I just remembered I'm the one preaching today. So, y'all, I ask that you just enjoy today's lesson, enjoy today's service. And I pray that you all just just, just find the strength that you need to give, Father, so, 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 so that 
you may understand and worship God the way he deserves to be worshiped and listened to and heeded to and paid attention to. Worship him just like you did Michael Jackson back in the day. Worship God today. Make a joyful noise. And may that joyful noise always be upon your lips and in your heart and in your soul. Because God's love continues forever, always. And that's enough to worship him for today, tomorrow, and forever. God bless you. Have an awesomely wonderful day. Bye-bye.